All right, guys. I just got done with this one and literally just got done. Luckily, I'm in the trees here just a little bit, guys, because the hail is coming down like crazy. Also, down here, guys, uh, this is a bi-weekly, and it's a bi-weekly because it doesn't really grow a whole lot because of all the trees. But uh, two weeks ago, guys, I had a huge snake down here. I believe it's called a rat snake, but don't hold me to it. But uh, I hit it. it. It was coming after me on the mower, and I hit it. Well, I just thought I grazed it because it, it kind of ran away. Hold on a second, guys. I got to roll my window up. It ran away, but I did see that I hit it with the mower and it was bleeding. Well, I was down here just mowing, not even probably 15 minutes ago, and uh, I found it. Wow, look at this storm, guys. This is probably the best storm we've had all season. But anyways, guys, I found the snake dead. And I don't know if you can see it right there. I showed the homeowner. She told me to lay it there that her husband would get rid of it. I went ahead and cut its head off because I'm not sure if it's poisonous or not. But uh, it was already dead. And you could tell it had some flies and stuff on it. It was rotten a little bit. So it must have killed it definitely whenever uh, I had hit it just a few weeks ago. But I found it just right up there against the wood line. So it didn't make it very far from after I hit it. But uh, yeah guys, freaking crazy storm just blew in on me here. I should have been a, a storm broadcaster or whatever they call it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, guys, I just thought I'd show you that real quick. Hopefully I can make it home here without uh, damaging any equipment or anything. It's been a crazy day here, guys. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll give you a little story here while I'm driving. Well, it's not really a story. Uh, my mother-in-law went to bed about 3 a.m. last night. She uh, She's kind of one of them late night people. Well, then my father-in-law gets up at 6 a.m. every day to go to work. He owns his own masonry company. And uh, basically, guys, he woke up this morning at 6 a.m. like he always does. Goes to get out into his truck and hears somebody stole his truck, his cement mixer, a bunch of scaffolding, probably $10,000 worth of masonry tools that he had in the truck. Uh, like laser levels and uh, you know rock saws I mean if you're in the mason area you know what I'm talking about here but uh, I mean this is stuff guys that it, it takes a person a long time to accumulate and uh, his truck his truck's a, a custom built truck he had it built it built and designed specifically for his business uh, has a bigger engine has a bigger bed uh, whatever and uh, basically guys it's missing they called the sheriff's they called the sheriff department and uh, I guess there was a total of like six vehicles in his area that were hit and uh, they most of the time guys sorry I'm all sweaty guys I just got on work and it's like it was no joke, probably 95, 100 degrees out here today. And uh, what happened is I had another guy working for me that I had worked for me part-time when my other guy's off or can't work. And uh, we got done with this one. Well, the trimming got done with this one about a half an hour ago. So I told him to go ahead and go and leave. He, uh, he'll park his truck down here at the bottom of the hill sometimes. And uh, give me a second here, guys. I'm trying to get out onto the main road here. But anyways, we, uh, we've been looking for a truck. They can't find it nowhere. Look at this crap, guys. I mean, my windshield wipers are going as fast as they can. And I can't even see a lick. But I'll end this one at that one, guys. I just figured I'd show you that real quick. Crazy storm coming in. I'll talk to you guys later. Just got home here, guys. That storm I was telling you about or showing you in the video with the snake... Yeah, check that out. Really ain't no damage. Scrape down the back of the car. But, uh, yep. Ripped a power line off the house.
craziness. Back out here finishing this one up again, guys. We're in the grind of the season now. And if you don't know what the grind is, it's when it seems like we just mowed this one yesterday, but it's actually been eight days this week because I couldn't get here last night because we got into that huge storm. So, got my dad out here with me. I uh, just hired a new guy yesterday. He's going to start next week with me. And, uh, yeah, it's been a been a crazy week uh my solenoids going out of my zero turn on the toro and uh i gotta get it replaced so i'm gonna do that tomorrow I'm, i've been just tapping on it i'm hoping it gets me through the rest of today we got uh one two three four five six more residentials after this one and uh we'll be done Gotta go down. Can you fit through? Here, hold on a second. Here, hold on. Watch that backpack blower. Better hurry up, it's gonna close right behind you. <laughs> oh man, it's awesome out here working with my dad, guys. I ain't gonna lie. You know, <laughs> you know how your dads act sometimes. I'm trying not to let them hear me. Let's leave it there, I'll grab it. No, I mean, you gotta blow this off. Here, smile, Dad. Yeah, right. Come on, smile. Just a little bit. I'll turn you into a YouTube star. <laughs> well, you ain't walking five miles an hour, buddy. <laughs> all right, guys. Take care. We're all done here. I'm not going to be able to film anymore because I want to have some sort of weekend. Take it easy, guys. As always, keep mowing, keep growing. Keep making money, boys. Later.